When the real world hit a spoiled rich kid, for the first half year of grad school, I shared a uni, hall flat with a girl from a very rich family in a rather poor country. She told me early on that she wasn't used to housework, having never had to lift a finger growing up. She seemed apologetic about it, so I offered to help her with everything she struggled with. Unfortunately, that was clearly a front she also really just didn't want to clean and only ever did so. If we had a flat inspection coming up, she suggested shared dishes, cutlery, etc. I refused after only a few weeks to top it off. She would repeatedly tell me that I didn't have to clean so well for flat inspections, or that we didn't have one coming up, so I didn't need to clean at all. Eventually, a flat inspection went so badly for her. Her room was an absolute mess, and she'd expected me to do her dirty dishes as I was cleaning the kitchen the night before, but I didn't, and she asked me if I clean her room for her. I offered one last time to help her and show her how to do it. She refused and offered me money to do it for her. I closed the door in her face and haven't spoken to her since. I later learned that in the years she'd been there longer than me. She'd had two flatmates, both of whom moved out of the halls just to get away from her. I did the same, though I planned to do so earlier, as there were a bunch of annoyances in the halls. Another half year later, I heard on the grate, Vine that she'd had to move out of the halls as she failed inspection. After inspection, when they didn't give her a new flat mate who'd do most of the cleaning for her, apparently her parents tried to intervene. But that obviously didn't work. Unfortunately, I doubt the lesson stuck. There's a decent chance her parents just paid her a nice apartment and housekeeper is unfortunate, because it sounds like there may have been some actual desire to improve on her part, but just not the drive to take action. I swear we see so many of these stories about rich kids who never had to work, not growing out of that habit as they became adults. Rich parents, I know you've got money, and you want to give your kids the life you never had or whatever, but more often than not it seems to be a recipe for just screwing up a kid's life.